Good morning, welcome to the farm. Good morning, Mighty Mike. His first sleep on the farm, hope he had a good one. Seems to be settling in, he's not really eating too much silage there. We are having a visitor today, a few visitors actually. -na 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 -na. We'll get some cattle bedded, get the cows all sorted out. Dad and Kev, they're bagging up some spuds for the shop. Some five kilo bags of Maris Piper. We're getting through the bales, not loads left. We do let out a wee bit of shed space to horses along the yard too. Normally we provide the straw, obviously, because we're producing quite a lot of straw, but we're looking like we're going to be short this year. So they've started getting straw elsewhere, which is a wee bit... Uh, ideally, we'd have been able to cover all of their straw needs, because then we know it's our straw, we know where it's coming from, we know it's not full of wild oats or anything like that. It's not ideal bringing in our straw, but fingers crossed it's all right. Hey Paul. Still no signs of any calves. There's a couple of cows getting closer, but nothing really imminent. Look who's back. Good morning, sheep fans. Is that is that recording in the right orientation? Ah, well, I'll, I'll flip it. Oh, you sort it later. Yeah, yeah it's too later. Yep, yep. Got him in the, got him in the front. Have you already told them what's happening today at an earlier point? Um, kind of. You're coming to film something to do with a dung spreader. Yes. Exciting times. BBC Larmor guys, check it out. It's quite a big deal. When's it going to be on? When's it going to be on? It's going to be on in April. It is 6th of April. 6th of April. April. First one, 6th of April. I'm, I'll be getting a healthy feed. Some some buzz. Yes, <laughs> a healthy feed. feed. A healthy feed. feed. That's, feed. that's what feed. you're expecting very soon, actually. Must... Oh. It comes. Oh, I'm undercover. <laughs> <laughs> that is. BBC official comms. Cammy's had an influence on the, the camera crew here. Destroyed trucks. It is one o'clock. These guys arrived at half ten. Still not filled the spreader once yet. It's a media game. Cammy's just daydreaming about sheep. What's going on ahead of his? What is he watching? <laughs> Right, me and Cammy are ready for action. They're just setting up the cameras over there, getting a drone up. They're basically just filming a bit on dung, how it's produced, what we do with it. So to do with that big heap of dung, we're gonna go and spread some of it, why we spread it, what it's useful for, blah, 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 blah. Genuine BBC microphone. Walkie talkie, sorry. <laughs> right, the cameras are all rolling. Cammy's in the forklift. He's done a load so far, and he's not hit anything, broke anything. Good start. There he goes. Cheesing. I think he's enjoying this. Scrap the sheep. Also, that's uh, the second time he's got out that. <laughs> Few retakes. That's show business. He didn't drop too much. He didn't drop too much. Not too bad, eh? I've seen worse. I've seen, well, not too, <laughs> much, not, not too much worse. Here's some behind the scenes. Cammy's rehearsing his lines. Good to go. Get through the heat. Oh, it's After I say the my piece and walk, you want him just to drive away? Yeah. Hang on, hang on to read my piece again. Using the muck to grow the crops and feed the cattle to produce the muck to begin the cycle again. It all drives off perfectly, unlike my sentence. Right, thanks for that Crawford. Was that fine? One more. They can hear me, I can't hear them. One more take. Fluffed it, I fluffed it, you fluffed it. Using them up to grow the crops. Man Crawford. Thanks very much for that mate. Cheerio, Cammy. Cut. He's getting confident now, look at the size of that bucket. How many times has he hit the spreader? Concentration. Well, you're not meant to keep it in the spreader. Whoa! 
<laughs> Don't do that again because I'm going to get it in it this time. Quarter to four, load number two. Kev's still plowing away, he has got this field and that's that. All done. Which I'm trying to spread dung on and stay ahead of Kev, but it's proving a wee bit difficult. Catch up day tomorrow, I think. This is not my GoPro. This is Lambert's. I've really tried to make a good mess of that. This is going to be stinking for weeks of hen pen. No, stay on, stay on, just got manky. A little bit, but hopefully you'll have been all right. You'll have definitely got the start. Yeah. Everything went smoothly, apart from there's one lost phone at the moment. So we're going back to the Dung Midden to see if we can find it. So I've enjoyed today. Wouldn't like to be doing it every day because there's not much actual progress of the farm. It takes quite a while to do all the bits. They've got to use a proper camera and get the proper shots. Whereas me making these videos, if it's a rubbish shot or if I make a mess of it, it doesn't matter. And also it's only 10 minutes long. Their show's a bit more professional, a bit longer, a bit higher budget. Say that again, a lot higher budget, especially once I send my fee in. Anyway, it's half four. I'm gonna go and actually try and get quite a few loads done and get ahead of Kev a bit. We'll get this mess. Cammy's made sorted out. To be fair, actually, he did a fairly good job. With that, keep an eye out. The 6th of April, you definitely, you automatically go into like a, not a presenter, well, yeah, presenter mode. Not that I've got a presenter mode, but try and be well spoken and proper. And there's no, ah, just a wee bit of that, a wee bit of this, uh, getting fit. So I'll be a wee bit different to my usual style here. And wee Baxter, he's been ignored today. Come on in, boy. Aye, ah, good lad. So the dung midden's right there and the reason I'm not spreading right next to it here is because there's going to be sunflowers in here and the hen pen is a wee bit like rocket fuel and I'm just a bit wary of putting rocket fuel onto the sunflowers which are a tall crop anyway don't want to get to the stage where they're starting to cope over really, They are really strong normally but we have had some that grew to about 7 foot tall and they were a lot thinner in the stalk and they didn't have the strength You add rocket fuel to that and pff, you've just got a flat crop of sunflowers here comes Kev, still got the barrels on the front. The stone grape is now ready to pick up the one that I'm making. Plough's been going well. You can see how light it is on the front there. That's the PTO cover getting destroyed. No thanks. We're making a bit of progress now, the lights are on. Ah, well, I say that, I've still got a flipping big pile to do. I've started there and I've done four loads now. Four, eight, 12, 16, uh, there's maybe another 16 loads left. We'll get it done. The reason I'm using the bucket for this is because there's quite a bit of hen pen through this. We've mixed it all together and it's it's more liquidy than actual cattle dung, so it falls through the dung grade. The downside is when you hit a big clump of dung, you can't go halfway up the pile and stab in and lift up you have to go right at the bottom because the knife on the bucket won't cut through it. So you have to go down at the bottom, scoop underneath it and lift up and you get a big old chunk of dung and you can't lift it. The back wheels of the forklift lift up. Such as right now, I am on my back wheels. Come on. All I can do now is boom in. That's the only thing the forklift lets me do when it limits out on the weight gauge. There we go. Ah, that's a full load, I think. A proper load. It's starting to get dark now, but I better just keep going or else the boss will be giving me a hounding. You've got how many loads done? Is that it? Dad's brought a load of silage along the road today. It's kind of hard to show you anything now. You can see the dung fleeing out of the sides there. Hello, man. 
years. Right, we're done. Thank you very much for watching. Sorry it was a bit of an abnormal video. I didn't see too much farming content, but needs must sometimes. Enjoyed doing that. Thanks for coming out um, and see you tomorrow. Adios.